YouTube family, what is going on, man? It's your boy Tell, and we are back with another episode of Televisions, man. Yo, we got some heat. These gotta be some of my favorite photos I've took. That, for sure this year, but like probably over time, man, for real. I've been really putting my time in with this Mamiya, bro. I know the other week, man, I was telling y'all about, yo, I almost quit. After that experience, bro, I immediately was like, yo, we gonna find a solution. I had went and bought a prison finder. That shit saved my life, bro. I took, I did three shoots within the last week. Hit us, man. It was some sketchy stuff that went on, but I'm gonna let y'all know more so after, so we just gonna get right into, you know, the goodies. You feel if you're new to the channel, man, welcome, welcome. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like this video, man, and let's get this thing going. I'm from Augusta. Shorty, she went to my rival high school. So I went to Grove Town High School, but I knew her through mutuals and shit. So one day I had hit her up and I was like, yo, you know, you trying to do a shoot? And she was like, oh, I don't do photo shoots. You know, and I don't do that. I was like, dang, oh shit. Well, you know, I respect it, you feel me? I respect it. I probably say about like a month ago, I had hit her because I seen her with some photographers. And I was like, oh, you shooting? And she was like, yeah, you yeah, we could get something. I was like, bet. So instantly i had put together a move boy y'all can check this out right here i shot this to her and i was like yo i think this would be dope we can do uh, something like on hope uh, like on a motel vibe so i went through digging on uh google and shit and found a smooth spot near where i used to stay and we went there man and the motel was kind of kind of sketchy bro like you know what i'm saying like the dude there he was acting mad weird and my homie Monty was peeking it, bro. I was watching her in my whole periphery. I'm like, yeah, I know she sensed this dude's energy, bro. Like, this dude is just weird. So, this is one of my favorite shots that uh, I've seen on the mood board. So, the picture with Janae, she was in the chair. She looked mad, cozy, and comfortable. I really like that vibe. So, I was like, I could see her emulating the same vibe. So, I put the chair in the corner. I moved it away from the table. And just had her uh, just get comfortable and put her hand on her face with the finals. Like, it came out a little blurry, but it still looks fire, though. It, like, has this dope look to it. Because, you know, hey, don't don't sleep on y'all blurry photos, bro. Like, some of them joints be hitters. Like, it, had, it adds a certain type of personality to it. So, don't always throw them blurry joints away. And I just recently learned that, too, man. So, Within this combination, I was using natural light and I was using continuous light. So I was really using that continuous light to kind of enhance the feel of the natural light. It can get more light on her face, but also it doesn't seem artificial. I want to get the scene right too. So I got the curtains positioned in a certain way so um, it can get some sort of foreground. And then I got the phone as well in there as foreground or and just like a piece of the subject so it can tell some sort of story. Honestly, this to me, this is a very uh, comedic shot, bro. Um, it adds a lot of personality. Um, and you're trying to really depict what the hell is she thinking. And you see, man, you know, your boy came up in there, you know, I got the crop top on, you feel me, vibes, man, you know. People don't be rocking it like they do back in like the 80s and the 90s, man. Like, you know, mad football players was on that joint. So I was like, man, you know, I'm gonna bring the style back. You know what I'm saying? Y'all better hop on, you know what I'm saying? And if, and if y'all do, Give me my credit. So this one came out a little blurry as well. It was good, man. I really like how this looks as well. I don't think uh, the blurriness is too distracting because um, I feel like this one wasn't too blurry. It was just more so maybe my movement. I feel like I had maybe shook the camera a little bit as well. So what we started off with is actually the dress. So here we got her on the bed and I gotta give my major, major props to the homie Monty both because she was really smooth with the creative direction. I told her what I was looking for and she really helped her embrace that character. So with the shots on the bed, these was uh, pretty dope. They really give me some R&B vibes, I ain't gonna cap. Like, it's real smooth. Um, I just really like the contrast that was in these, the characters. I really like, um, the photo of her sitting on like the nightstand with the phone in her hand and she's just looking at it because it gives uh, her personality. Because just from me even um, knowing her from uh, the time I have, 
Like, Shorty Goofy, and she funny. And, like, just from, like, what I be seeing, what the hell she be posting. Like, this nigga got, she goofy as hell. So, this mirror shot was mad clean. I really liked it, I ain't gonna lie. So, I got two different variations. I wanted to get something um, a little wider. I wanted to kind of have her whole outfit in it. Like, so, I kind of, like, got from her dress to uh, her heels. And then I had, what the fuck? You know how they got like the queen bee? Do they have like a queen or king wasp? This is a big ass wasp. So, and then with the tighter look, this is actually my favorite one um, out of the both. Um, I really like uh, just how the light came. Because I got a light kind of over her uh, head. And you will see um, in this video as well. I wanted the light over her shoulder to act as the light that was beside her. So, just basically illuminating her more. And uh, bringing her face out. So that was that was really the tool for that because the other light was kind of getting blocked by this TV like the TV was so distracting but good thing it was one of them TVs that had the wall mount so we was just able to swing it out the way. So we did have some more shots as well that came out pretty smooth. We got some outdoor but like I said the hotel man it was kind of sketchy. Yo the dude so the um the clerk that was there he was acting weird like we gave him our IDs and then um, he was just scanning them, but he was scanning them millions of times. I'm like, what is this dude doing? Like, and he eventually gave it to us back. Um, and then, uh, I had to go back up there and get a receipt. No, and sign a receipt. So when I came back out there and signed a receipt, he let me, cause we was at this door. So it was really just a window. And I walked up to the window and I was talking to bro. Uh, and, but then eventually he let me in. And then uh, I was able to sign the stuff. And I was talking to him, asking questions. And then um, he was saying, yeah, he had to make sure I wasn't on bullshit. I'm like, then I asked him, I'm like, does bullshit happen a lot around here? And then he was like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. I was like, okay, well, I can understand that. But like, yeah, nigga, you, nah, like. That could fuck up business, bro. Like, people need to understand that. Don't be assuming everybody on bullshit because that could fuck up shit. The outdoor shots, they came out smooth. Um, I really and I really like this one because it seems so candid uh, with her with the fan in her face. Cause Shorty was really hot. It was it was hot as a motherfucker out there, man. It's been it's been hot in Georgia recently, yo. Like it's been OD. So, but the outdoor shots came out smooth. I wish we was able to do more, but. Um, the clerk, he was being weird about taking photos outside, so I was like, I guess, you know, um, you know, because we ain't trying to get kicked out. So, but with that being said, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in in today's television episode, bro, man. I really enjoy how these photos came out, so, man, make sure y'all showing love, bro. So, man, make sure y'all showing love, bro. Hit up the gram, man. Show love on the gram. Make sure y'all follow me. And also, too, make sure y'all subscribe, man. Comment below. Let me know what you guys enjoy. What was your favorite photo? And, yeah, man, y'all have a good day and keep shooting.